Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I got my new Canon camera and I am twerking the settings, kind of finding what settings I like, what works for me. So if you notice in the next couple videos that like, oh, the settings might be a little bit different or they're changing. It's just because I'm tweaking things and trying to find things that work best for me, for my setup. So I appreciate in advance you guys just sticking in there with me. In today's video, I wanted to talk about Sister Wives, Cody, early courting, failed courtships. Because you guys, I bought Becoming Sister Wives. I've seen it discussed on Reddit. I've read excerpts from it when it's used in articles to kind of talk about life before the show, but I, ha I had never bought it, purchased it, or read it for myself. So I am in the midst of reading Becoming Sister Wives. I will say it's an interesting read. It's not a highly high level intellectual read, which you know what? I kind of appreciate. I appreciate an easy read that doesn't require a lot of, you know, attention to detail. So for me, that works. <laughs> it might not work for every reader. But all I can hope, because I bought the book, the ebook, Kindle, $13.99, I hope that Christine is getting a cut of the royalties from the book. I'm just going to start out by saying what's talked about a lot on Reddit and in Instagram, I've seen it on Twitter, various places is that there are discrepancies between the relationship or the origin stories of some of these relationships what they're depicted as on the show and then what the what the Browns actually wrote about in their book and one of the things that you might not know about because I don't recall if it's been mentioned on the show and it's certainly in not to the detail that we're going to talk about today but before Janelle, before Christine, Mary and Cody courted a minor. And it was a failed courtship, and we are going to talk about that today. If you have watched Sister Wives from the beginning, you will know that Cody and the wives have long championed the decriminalization of polygamy because, you know, they're not regular polygamists. They're cool polygamists. They're, you know live and let live polygamous. And I have, part of what I have found fascinating about the Brown family is, you know, I could, I could agree with that. I could get on board with that. You know, if everyone's consenting adults, let live and let live, do what you want. I don't care what you do in your bedroom. I completely agreed with Cody on that point. So when he was, you know, going to marches, they sued the state of Utah. I was like, yeah, like, you know, let's not have these people living in fear of, you know, criminal prosecution because of who they want to, you know, cohabitate with. Totally get on board with that. And again, the caveat is as long as everyone's consenting adults. Cody has said all polygamists shouldn't be punished or prosecuted for the sins or crimes of some. The biggest meaning the marriages of underage girls within certain polygamous sex. And this is actually an excerpt from his book, from their book rather. And he writes, when people hear the phrase Mormon fundamentalist, they probably think about a small su subset of our population, the fundamentalist church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. For too long, this organization and the handful of abusive men who ran it have been the poster children for polygamy in America. Until recently, the FLDS was run by, run by Warren Jeffs, and this book was published in 2012, who has been found guilty of child sexual assault and is now serving a life sentence in prison. He ruled his organization with an iron fist, creating a climate rampant with abuse and fear. He not only tolerated, but also promoted child brides. He summarily reassigned the wives of men he deemed unworthy to new husbands. These are not my beliefs. The, this is not my world. That is what Cody Brown had to say in their book. And let me just start off by saying that an age gap in a marriage or in any relationship is not inherently problematic. 
but the older you get, the less problematic it is. When you're young in your formative years, one, two years of an age difference can be significant. So if we're talking about a 30-year-old marrying a 35-year-old, you've pretty much experienced similar life experiences at that point versus, say, a 17 year old and a 20 year old life experience looks a lot different at 17 and 20. So that is where we're talking today. Cody and Mary married. Cody and Mary married very young. Mary was 19 and Cody was 21. They married in 1990 and here is a picture from their wedding. I actually really recommend reading the book. I know people, you know, don't want to you know, pay the money and support the Brown family. But you know what? It's $13.99 and you get a lot of insight. So I actually would recommend, hey, pick up the book um, in the least expensive way possible, which I believe would be the ebook version. You just, you just, you get a lot of insight into life before Robin. And you, we just don't get that on the show. Robin kind of is the Hurricane Robin that comes in and kind of you know, ruffles everything up for the Brown family. And then it's kind of life after that on the show. So this is really an interesting read, in my opinion. So get this, Cody and Mary had been married for a year, and then a, a year or so a year and change, and they were part of the AUB, the Apostolic United Brethren Church. And that was the church that Christine was a part of, um, you know, ultimately Janelle married into, Robin was a part of. So they had been married for a year or so. They were actually like youth leaders of some sort in their church. And they met a 17 year old. And this would have placed Cody at about 22 or 23 years old. And I, I got problems. I got problems with that. Let's take a look at some of the excerpts that both Mary and Christine wrote about when they discussed this failed courtship. Now, I do want to point out, because I did not know this, Christine actually was friends with Mary and Cody through church, through her family, before Janelle even entered the picture. She was 19 when she met Mary and Cody, and she had a crush on Cody and was hoping to join the family. And then when they chose to start courting this young lady, this really devastated Christine. And she talks about that here. So this is what Mary has to say. When Cody and I entered into our first courtship with a young woman we'd been introduced to at a church gathering, I was excited. She and I became close friends right away. This was unusual for me and I immediately took it as a sign that Cody and I were destined to marry her. Then she goes on to say, but things didn't work out. I was devastated when the courtship soured and she left. Back then we were all so young. She was only 18. Let's put like a little asterisk footnote for that. And Cody and I were in our first year of marriage. So we may have mistaken a crush for love. Nevertheless, I felt personally betrayed. I had lost one of my closest friends, a woman I imagined would have been a perfect sister wife. And this is what Christine has to say. So this was after they they were friends. Uh, uh, Christine definitely had a crush on Cody, was hoping to, you know, she had kind of plotted out with one of her friends because, you know, she always wanted to be a third wife, that her friend would be the second, then she would come in as a third. And then this, this kind of just blew her world up. Cody and Mary had a strange had strange looks on their faces. They seemed excited but a little nervous. Then they told me that they were courting the girl I introduced them to at the youth conference. Youth conference. I was devastated. It ruined my day. In fact, it ruined my year. I decided then and there that I was not going to marry Cody no matter what happened. It wasn't because of Cody. It was because of the girl he and Mary were courting. She was too young and too cute. And I just couldn't see her in my future. I broke off the friendship. I couldn't be around Cody and Mary while they were courting someone else. And then she sums it up. The now she's talking about the length of the courtship. She had she had not spoken to Cody and Mary for a long time. And she writes, it had been prolonged because Cody and Mary wanted to wait for the girl they were courting to turn 18 before making their engagement official. 
Not only is there a, in my opinion, problematic age difference between Cody being in his now mid-20s, 22, 23, and a girl who is like a senior in high school, there is, again, life experiences, life differences, they're just significant when you're that young. One or two years makes a huge difference. So there's that aspect. And then there's also the fact that Cody and Mary had some sort of leadership in their church when it came to the youth group, the youth, you know, congregation. And that is another power, power imbalance. They were um, a position of authority. And I think that's messed up too. And again, you guys might say, Sarah, a five-year age difference, not that big of a deal. But again, it's it to me, in my opinion, it's a lot when you're in your formative years. And it seemed like Cody and Mary recognized that this wasn't exactly palatable because they waited until this young lady turned 18 to become officially engaged. So they recognized that this wasn't this wasn't exactly cool to do. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because Cody for, you know, this is, has been what, 16 seasons now that the Browns have been gracing our screens. It's been over 10 years that we've seen this family evolve and a constant theme for Cody, they've gone to debates where they've debated Christine's estranged aunt that they, they don't invalidate anybody that has had a traumatic experience in a polygamous family or polygamous sect. They don't invalidate that, but they want to validate that their experience is not that experience. But to me, this is really like dancing on that line and it, it's, it's inappropriate. It's in, you know, and they recognized the inappropriateness of it when they had to wait for the girl to actually be 18 in order to court her. You know, Cody really railed against the FLDS in the marrying of underage girls. And here he is courting a young lady that had not turned 18 yet. So I just, you know, and then he... He talks about now in season 16 how he's been too, like, kind of relaxed with running his households. And that's why his wives are kind of running amok at this point. And he, he mentions in season 16 that he feels like he should be more patriarchal. But he explicitly talks about not wanting to be that kind of polygamist in their book. So... I don't know. I find that pretty interesting. You guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.